There are very few things that bring me the same amount of joy that receiving packages brings me. Hi. Um, video diary moment. I want a new hobby. I need a new hobby. I want to learn a new skill. I want to pick up something that I have no experience in and learn it from scratch and be good at it. Like, I want something new that I enjoy doing. So, I want a new hobby. For the longest time, I felt myself getting stuck in a rut. Every day was becoming a bleak routine. I did the same things every day to the point where I just felt like my life was lacking something new. So I decided to get a new hobby. And with my summer holidays starting, there was no better time to do so than now. I've always enjoyed personalizing my space with quirky little DIYs. Maybe it's because I spent my formative early adolescent years watching a lot of Laura DIY and My Life is Ava. I don't know. But it's gotten to the point that I now have a Pinterest board with inspiration for my room and every future room in my future currently non-existent apartment and future currently non-existent home. Lately I've come across a bunch of these rugs that I have been obsessed with. Only problem is I haven't found any places in Dubai where I can actually get my hands on these rugs. So I decided to just make them myself. Which brings us here. <laughs> My Amazon delivery arrived. So there's this little package and this big boy package. Now you're probably wondering, Alina, what did you order for yourself? What are you so excited about? Honestly, it's just the very fact of getting a package that excites me. Anyway, unboxing time. All my equipment is finally here, so I can now start learning what to actually do with all of this. Oh. Hmm. oh, I'm gonna start watching movies on the ceiling with this. Oh shit. Oh, it's a lot heavier than I expected it to be. Now before I could begin this new little venture, I did some research and put together a checklist of all the things that I needed to actually be able to make these rugs. So getting the basic equipment, check. Next, I needed a frame. I scoured multiple carpentry workshops before I finally found a little place that was able to make a frame for me the way I wanted. Frame, check. Once again, after a lot of failed attempts, I was able to find the perfect store that had all the yarn I could possibly need. So I just got a bunch of supplies. Mom's cloth, yarn, 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 and more yarn. And you'll never guess what else. More yarn. I also got some oil and uh, spray adhesive. Supplies, check. Now I would be lying if I said this was easy because it's a lot harder than it looks. I've watched so many tutorials and I don't know what to do with the yarn. Am I supposed to put two in at a time, one at a time? How do I get it to feed nicely? Do I put it in the loops first or do I put it in the gun first? There are so many tufting guides for beginners, but there are no tufting guides for idiots. Surely I'm not supposed to have this much yarn out. And look at this machine, there's just so much going on. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> to thread your tufting gun, use a thin loop of wire and send it through the needle and up through the ring, and then pull it all right back out. On the AK-1 and the AK-2, control says go faster. Tufting, be sure- What is this? I just made a line. It's not very good. I know that because I just watched a video about what it's not supposed to look like, and it's not supposed to look like this. I'm very intimidated by this gun at the moment. No, I just- Yeah, no, this is not- I'm almost certain that it is not supposed to look like this. A little bit tragic. What am I doing wrong? So, um, attempt number one. I mean, I do see a little bit of a rug, but I will not be continuing with this. And that is because, wow, I don't think a rug is supposed to have holes in it. Anyway, so I'm not gonna waste more yarn on something that is obviously not working. I personally feel like this fabric isn't that solid. I'm gonna attempt to double layer it and see how that works. That was good practice, I guess. Day one and my room is absolutely trashed. 
So I ended up going fabric shopping again to get some new fabric because the one that I used initially was so bad. Look at this shit. This is so flimsy and practically impossible to use. It was sold to me as monk's cloth and it was ridiculously expensive and just utter shit. So I got two types of new primary backing fabrics. This isn't exactly like rug making fabric, but this is like the closest thing to what I think rug backing material should be like. So now I'm gonna attempt to make a rug on the new fabric that I bought and see how that works. So far, it has been working amazing. Backing fabric, check. Hello. So I don't really film much of my process, but I made my first rug. <laughs> I'm surprised how well it actually turned out. Changing the backing fabric was a game changer. Like it just worked so nicely. I feel a lot of satisfaction. <laughs> Hello. So I am now going to attempt to make my second rug. Today's objective is to learn how to how to do like outlines and stuff. I want to practice sort of detailing. And the second objective is I went and got another type of fabric. So I want to test the second packing fabric as well to basically figure out which one of the two is better. So the second fabric is a lot thicker, um, even the noise it makes, compared to the one I used last time. This one worked really well for me. It didn't give me too many problems, except I did notice that when there was too much work happening in one place, um, a tiny little hole formed over here, which wasn't too big of a deal. Like it's not very noticeable, but I just want to see if I'm going to have the same issues with this fabric or not. <laughs> Say hello to my new rug. Okay, so as you can see, there is a slight difference in both of these fabrics. Both of them worked out really nicely. However, this one was just perfect. The gun went in so smooth. No matter how many times I went over like the same spot with the gun, not even a single hole. So even though I'm pretty satisfied with both of them, I think the final verdict is this is the official backing fabric that I'm gonna be using. Good morning! Another day, another rug. Firstly, excuse the fact that my hair looks like a lion's mane. I just got out of the shower and haven't tamed it yet. But anyway, so I want to attempt a slightly more complicated design. So I went ahead and chose this one and I'm going to be attempting to make this little trippy Bart, his name is Bart, right? Bart Simpson. I need to look this up. He is Bart. You know, I was never even allowed to watch The Simpsons when I was younger, but I just like how it looks. So this one is definitely a little bit more complicated because there's a lot of like, you know, little shapes and a lot of like curvy stuff and details. But I just feel like if I can nail something like this, I will have a better idea of how to tackle more complicated pictures and designs. So, that is the objective of the day. All right, we got it. Time to turn it into a rug. I finally learned how to use this wire thing and it wasn't actually that hard. I don't know why it took me so long to figure it out. So not too long ago, I kind of had the realization that I'm only really good at doing one thing. I discovered my passion and interests at a really young age and spent all of my time since then just working on that. Making videos, telling stories, producing and editing. And I love it. It's my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. But since my favorite thing in the world has also kind of become my job in a way, that took away the joy of making videos for me and instead kind of just became a chore almost. In this day and age, keeping up on YouTube and social media means posting regularly, keeping up with trends, making things that mean less to you but work well for engagement and that is not an easy task that is a skill of its own and honestly hats off to the people who do it so well because i wish i could i know it's a part of what i do but it's not the part that i have perfected and it's not the part that i love doing on the other hand a creator with an artistic mindset makes art tells stories might not be heading the top searches but has the kind of work that you've never seen anywhere else that to me personally means a lot more and that is what i truly love doing and lately my life has been a conflict of balancing the commercial 
mental and art aspect of being a YouTuber. And that has kind of taken a toll on my perception of myself, my work, and my channel itself. So because of all of this, amongst many other things, I haven't really been in the best state mentally and it's been affecting my life and my productivity. The sudden urge to start something new is kind of something that I want to do to divert my attention elsewhere. I want to fall in love with something new to take the pressure off making videos. Now this obviously doesn't mean I'm going to stop being a YouTuber. I still love being a YouTuber and I'm still going to do my best to be consistent and post what I love, but I don't want to start hating my favorite thing in the world because I do currently feel myself heading towards that path. And after all, as Albert Einstein once said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So here's me trying something new to take myself out of this weird downer mental cycle that I've been stuck in. So now I'm making rugs and I'm loving it. I'm honestly loving it. I'm halfway done and look how cool. It looks so sick. Three hours later. Took me a while, but I am done and I am so happy with this. This is by far my favorite one yet, but just wait. How sick is this? I did that. After completing this one, I definitely feel a lot more confident now with like the gun handling and everything. I also feel a lot more comfortable with work that has more details. After completing this, I am ready to dive right into the tufting world. I have been on an impossible mission to find backing adhesive for my rugs for over a week now. We have gone to every single hardware store that exists in Dubai and we have not been able to find the correct type of adhesive or maybe we did find it but I don't know if it's the correct type because the brand that I've seen other people use is like American and they don't have that here in Dubai and now I've just got a bunch of rugs that are just hanging up and I don't know what to do with them and how to move on with this several days later today i finally received the backing adhesive that i spent so long looking for however there was one left in stock and i was under the impression that i was getting a big bucket considering how much i paid for it and ended up with this now i don't know if i can apply this indoors oh it's just directly in there i thought they'd be like a protective layer or something this is the consistency that i have been chasing for so long it kind of looks like tahini i'm glad that i finally managed to get the right product but i'm not gonna lie i am so disappointed by how tiny this is that's what she said <laughs> i'm sorry Okay, I don't have one of those metal, whatever the hell they're called, scrappers, scrapers, I don't know. I'm using like the end of a spatula, it's called a spatula, is it a spatula? What is this, the rubber silicone mm -hmm. thing? Oh god, it's so gooey. So I love that this glue had no smell, so it didn't feel toxic, even though I was doing it indoors. And it's such a satisfying process, like I absolutely love just, yeah, just, just spreading it getting all that paste everywhere that was nice i feel like i cleansed my soul i'm done i coated the first rug and i kind of have glue on my fingers and on my feet i'm kind of in a hurry and i have somewhere to be so i'm only going to be doing one right now just to kind of test it out that's about all i have to say so i will be back when this is dry <laughs> It's a new day. I have finished backing all of the rugs with the adhesive. I did this one last night and it's sort of like half dry. It's still a little bit sticky. This one and this one I did just a few hours ago. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. It's still very wet. <laughs> that's also what she said. I need to stop. But yeah, that's the progress so far and I'll be back in 24 hours when they're all dry. <laughs> So I have sort of made my first rug. From a distance, it doesn't look too awful, but the moment you get closer, uh, you can just pretty much see everything that's wrong with it. I'm not too proud of it, but I mean, considering the fact that this is literally the first one that I made, it is not too bad. And it's kind of cute on the floor. So what I do is I kind of just, just cut it like directly. Anyway, after that, I pretty much just like glued down the edges with like a hot glue gun and they were pretty much done. I mean, I had to shave it one time and then kind of like vacuum it so that it was clean and 
just sort of even, I guess. But that was pretty much it. Um, I glued the backing and um, say hello to my new rugs. <laughs> successfully managed to learn a new skill and I have a new hobby now. Anyway, that is it for this video. Um, I'm just gonna go continue making rugs now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. What a wonderful. Bye.